a very good morning to all my student today we have a demo on a scapula so if you see this scapula we have the general features of the scapula we'll see all those features as well as we'll see the attachment on the scapula so in the scapula we have the two surface the one which you are seeing here this is known as the posterior surface also known as dorsal surface right why we why we can say that this is known as the posterior surface because this is the spine or we can say the spinous process of, process of scapula which divides the posterior surface into upper small area and lower large area. This upper smaller area is known as supraspinous fossa while this lo lower larger area is known as the infraspinous fossa. This is known as the anterior surface of the scapula or we can say that this is known as the coastal surface of the scapula. right? Same how this coastal surface is also known as subscapular fossa. Now we have the three angle. We can say this is known as the superior angle of the scapula, inferior angle. This is known as the lateral angle which is truncated to form a glenoid fossa with the glenoid cavity. Above the glenoid fossa, we have the tubercle. So this is known as the supraglenoid tubercle. This is known as the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. Now we have the three borders of the scapula. This is known as the medial border of the scapula. This is known as the lateral thick border of the scapula because glenoid cavity and fossa is facing on the lateral aspect. So that's why we can say this is known as the lateral border. So we have done with two surface, three borders, and so this is a medial lateral and we have the superior border also. So this is known as the superior border of the scapula. On the superior border we have the notch that is known as suprascapular notch. We can see here in this one, this is known as the suprascapular notch over here, right? So now we have the three process. The one which we are seeing here, this is known as spinous process. This is known as the crest of the spinous process. This is known as the lower lip of the spinous process. While this is known as the upper lip of the spinous process. This is known as acromion process. This is known as the lateral margin of, margin of acromion process. This is known as the medial margin of acromion process. And here, can you see here, this is known as the articular facet or the area where the lateral end of the clavicle comes and articulates here to form a joint that is known as acromioclavicular joint and this is known as the coracoid process this entire area is known as the coracoid process right now what we have to see here is uh, there are so many attachment of the muscles takes place in the, the scapula right so let's see all those attachment present in the scapula but before dealing with the attachment, we should know that there are ossification centers present in the scapula. We have a total 8 ossification center that is known as 1 primary ossification center and 7 secondary ossification center. The 1 primary ossification center is present in the body part and we have the 2 center that is the secondary ossification center that is present in the coracoid process. Then we have the two center appears in the acromion process that is the second ossification center and we have one center appears in the medial border that is in this medial border and we have again one second ossification center in the inferior angle as well as in the lower part of the rim of the glenoid cavity. So we can say one primary ossification center in the body and remaining all seven secondary ossification center near the coracoid process, near the glenoid cavity, near the medial border and near the inferior angle of the scapula. Now we have to know the attachment. We will see the attachment in the, the scapula, right? So if you see the attachment, this is, these all are the attachment which is present on the scapula. Keep in mind the blue the black color indicates that is the insertion of the muscle and the red color is indicating that the origin of the, the muscle. Now this is the anterior surface, this is on subscapular fossa. So the muscles which is getting originated is in a subscapular muscle. This is one of the medial border anterior surface of the 
scapula. The muscles which is inserted here is known as serratus anterior, right? And now this is medial border, again posterior surface. We have three muscles which is getting inserted here, that is known as the levator scapulae till the root part and we have the next muscle that is known as the rhomboidus minor and below rhomboidus major i repeat here we have serratus anterior medial border anterior surface again this is medial border posterior surface labiatus scapulae rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major now we have the supraspinatus fossa so we have the muscles that is getting originated is known as supraspinatus muscle muscle and this is known as the infraspinatus muscles right now this is known as the lateral thick border the three muscles which is getting originated from the lateral thick borders are the the teres minor teres major and latissimus dorsi right this is known as the glenoid fossa so in the glenoid fossa if you see here here the shoulder joint will be formed right then above the glenoid fossa we have the tubercle so this is known as supraglenoid tubercle so origin of the the long head of biceps takes place from the supraglenoid tubercle this infraglenoid tubercle actually this is red in color actually right so here the long head of triceps is getting originated right same how this is known as the coracoid process from the coracoid process the three muscles is attached here one the insertion of the the pectoralis minor and we have the origin of the two muscles that is known as the short head of biceps as well as the coracobrachialis muscle is getting the originated right so i repeat here pectoralis minor insertion coracobrachialis and short head of biceps is getting originated from the coracoid process and this green color is indicating that this is a ligament which is attached with the clavicle so this is known as coracoclavicular ligament right same how this is known as the upper lip of the spinous process the trapezius muscles is getting inserted into the upper lip of spinous process as well as in the medial margin of acromion process now this is known as the superior border of the scapula right and here we have the notch that is suprascapular notch this notch is converted into a ligament with the help of suprascapular ligament above the ligament suprascapular artery will pass below or we can say from the foramen suprascapular knob will pass and just medial to the notch the muscles which is getting attached here that is known as the inferior belly of homo hyoid right and is there that is in the lower lip of the the spinous process as well as in the lateral margin of acromion process so we have the muscles which is getting originated is known as the deltoid muscles so here the posterior fiber of deltoid here we have the the lateral or intermediate fibers of deltoid is getting originated right finally we can say that this is known as the right side of the scapula because we have the spinous process spinous process should be always facing back side or in the posterior aspect which divides the scapula into upper smaller part and lower larger part and can you see this one this is known as the glenoid fossa which should be always facing laterally forwards and upwards can you see this is known as the right side of the scapula right here only the humerus will come and articulates here to form a shoulder joint thank you